Hi guys, it's Janine. Today is Saturday, March 17th, and I am here for my weekly weigh-in. An update. Um, it's going to be more like an update because I didn't weigh in this morning. Uh, when I first started my journey, I was 398 pounds. I had a BMI of 72.8. Last week, I was 205 pounds, and I am not weighing myself until next Saturday, which will be March 24th. So I'm giving myself a week off the scale. I'm taking a little vacation from weighing myself in. Uh, that advice came from Miss Janie. And Miss Janie, I love, adore, look up to, and idolize, basically. And I'll take just about any bit of advice she gives me to heart. Um, and she, you know, last week... Last week I was a frickin' mess, um, and I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart because you guys saw me struggling and you just whoosh helped Janine. I was, the comments I got, the private messages I got, the video response that I got from Brian, the, the Facebook messages that I got from my friends on YouTube who also know me on Facebook. I was, I felt so blessed that I'm a part of this community because you guys are so willing to help me and support me and love me. It's just incredible and I couldn't be more thankful for it. But Miss Janie suggested that I fight my gain from last week with exercise, that I just go crazy and don't weigh myself this week and see what happens. So that's exactly what I've done. Um, last week I gained, I was very discouraged, excuse me, and I didn't weigh in, excuse me, I didn't exercise on Sunday. Um, but Monday came and I exercised on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I took Thursday off because I gave myself blisters on my cankles. And I took Friday off because at the end of the night, um, when I was going to go to the gym, it was about it was about 7.30. I was going to go to the gym at 8 o'clock. I had a seizure. And seizures just wiped me out. It was a petite mal seizure. It was a little guy. <clears throat> but, um... They wipe me out. They make me so tired. I'm lucky I can stay awake. So I couldn't go to the gym last night either. But I did go this afternoon as well. So from last weekend to this weekend, I've exercised four times um, out of the seven days. And I am incredibly proud of myself for that. The Couch to 5K, I have said goodbye to week one. And hello to week two. I did week two, day one, on Tuesday. And I could not run the 90 second intervals. I could only do about 70 seconds of the 90 second intervals. And then I had to knock the treadmill down to a walking pace and walk the other 20 seconds out. Um... I was a little discouraged about that, but, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, so I just dealt with it, and, um, you know, I'll get better at it, right? So I did week two, day one, today at the gym, and I am happy to report that I ran every single 45 second interval, 60 second interval, and 90 second interval that I had. I ran every interval in the whole span of the week two, day two, couch to 5k. I didn't stop. Not once. I didn't walk for a second when I was supposed to be running. I did really good and I was super proud of myself. I couldn't believe I did it. I could not believe that I ran for 90 seconds straight. And I know that doesn't sound like much, but running for a minute and a half 
when you have never ran in your life. I mean, like, I remember in gym class in high school, some, I don't, in New York State, we have to do a fitness exam twice a year, and they time you on how fast you can run a mile. Well, I was one of the rebel girls that used to walk the mile. And I used to drive my gym teacher crazy because they had to stand outside with me while I took forever to make it the mile. And it used to take me like half an hour, you know, between 25 minutes and a half an hour to walk the mile because I refused to run because I was huge. I was huge in high school. And um, now I am, you know, God, what was I? I was 15. So that, that was like 17 years ago. Um, so 17 years later, I'm 17 years older, and, um, now I'm running for a minute and a half straight. I could never do that, because I never did it. And I am. And I'm so proud. It's wonderful. Um, the other thing, uh, week two made week one look like a cakewalk. So, if you're still in week one... I would suggest you stay in week one until you really feel like you could do it with your eyes closed and then move on to week two, because week two is like, wow, 90 seconds is quite a bit. Um, a little tip. When I got blisters on my cankles, um, they hurt like a mofo. I read, hold on, uh, okay, I read online um, some tips on what to do. and. They showed um, athletic tape that you're supposed to tape the areas that you get blisters on, like around your ankles, to buff, you know, the rubbing from your sneakers um, onto your skin. So I couldn't find athletic tape, but I found durable cloth tape. This is by Nexcare, 3M Nexcare. Um, it says it stick securely, which it does. It did not roll on me or peel off or anything. Um, and it's breathable, it's hypoallergenic, um, it's stretchable, it's durable, it's latex free, blah blah. Um, I taped my, I rolled it around my ankles and covered the blistered areas. It worked like a charm. I'm fine. I didn't feel a bit of discomfort on those blisters when I was running today. So I seriously suggest you do that in case you get blisters from walking too much or running. Um, tape up your ankles. It really helps. And I am so happy I figured that one out. Shakeology. Remember I mentioned that? Um, and I said I wouldn't buy it again? Well, guess what? I also said that I would just use it up and that'd be the end of it. I'm not using it up. Um, I used about, mm, I used about eight scoops of it. I think I did it for like eight days or seven days. So I, I used about seven or eight scoops. The bag is full to about here. Um, and so it has a lot left in it. If you want this, tell me leave a message below I will happily ship this to you because this thing was hundred and twenty dollars and I really don't want to throw it out um so if you want it if you want me to ship it to you I mean please keep in mind that I did open it I didn't you know put anything scary in it I promise but um you know if you want to try it and you want me to send it to you so you can try tell me and it's yours. I'm serious. It's yours. I will ship it to you. You don't have to pay me for shipping. It's it's on me. Um, I just don't want to throw it out because it was $125, $120 for this crap. So I just don't like the taste of it. And that's the end of it. I don't like the taste. It has fantastic um, vitamin percentages in it. Um, it's wonderful. But it's extremely healthy for you. I just don't like the taste of it. So if you want to try it, tell me it's yours. Um, also, Syntrex Nectar is a protein company that I love. They make protein shakes that are very um, thin. They're a smidge thicker than water. 
Um, I don't like thick protein shakes. They're just too much. Um, Cintrex Nectar makes very thin protein shakes. They just came out with a new flavor. It's called Double Stuff Cookie. And it kind of tastes like an Oreo cookie. It actually has little specks of chocolate cookie in it. And I tried it last night and I thought it was delicious. Um, so I'm definitely going to suggest that to you guys if you want to switch up your flavors. Cintrex Nectar Double Stuffed Cookie. And I got mine on Nutrition. Um, last, I want to do a special shout out to Robin, Texas Mom 2011, for being my exercise buddy. I um, recruited her <laughs> to being my exercise buddy. And we've been texting each other pictures of the gym, of our treadmills, um, of us sweating. Um, we've been uh, just really motivating each other to go to the gym, to work out. We've been accountable to each other. And it's really helped me a lot this week. Um, I mean, shoot, I worked out four times this week. I went from, you know, working out once, twice a week to four times now. So Robin's been a huge help to me. And you guys, you guys are flipping incredible. I love you guys so much. I can't express how thankful I am to you guys. Um, I, I, I can't even begin. I can't even begin. All you guys, you're incredible. That's it. Um, I'm all done rambling. I'm weighing in next week. You guys will get numbers from me next week. Um, not this week. And that's it. So I hope you guys have a awesome week. Lose big, do good. I hope everyone has fantastic numbers this week. Um, and I think that's, yeah, that's it. Nothing else, nothing else crazy happened this week. So I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.